What's goody fellas and welcome back to Crazy Stupid Experiments. So today we're doing the defensive end. I haven't figured out if we're gonna do DT yet. We might get around to that. We'll just have to see how these videos do. Today we have rank 2 OU and ECU. They say that the Big 12 doesn't play defense even though Oklahoma is moving from the Big 12. Still wanted to rock with a team from the Big 12. And we have two wonderful contestants today. One on the right end and one on the left end. Test Tube Oklahoma will be on the right, whereas Test Tube ECU is on the left. Both are freshmen, six foot five, 280 pounds, whilst obviously being 99 across the board. Whenever we did the defensive end on Madden, it was always just different because they dominated so much and would break ridiculous numbers in terms of sacks. I just hope that we have the correct coach philosophy. The offense is just whatever. It's already on Michigan State by default. I slapped it on multiple D, uh, kept the run defense and pass even, dropped the play call aggression to 30 and defense defensive substitutions to 30 as well. I might even drop that further down because I do not want our defensive ends being taken off no matter what. The beautiful thing about being a defensive end though is that we shouldn't see them ever come off the field because we do have 99 stamina. So I'm hoping that at least works in our favor. Now that substitutions are all the way dropped, let's start off with rank two Oklahoma. They're coming in 93, 93, 93, even with the inclusion of our 99 defensive end. So we'll see how it does. West Virginia, Tulsa, Notre Dame on the road, Texas air. Yeah. Hopefully our defensive ends ball out. Wow, Oklahoma tore up. They got an 82 full, damn, 82 fullback. How come I can never find 82 fullbacks? We won the big 12 championship. We went 11 and one. We might as well advance past this bye week here and at least see how the team did in terms of their rush defense and things. There is another experiment I want to run at a later date where we follow a full 99 defensive line and we put run stop down to zero but we flip it and try and stop the pass as much, much as possible and see what comes out of that. East Carolina won the CUSA, that's good to see. Test Tube just won the Vince Lombardi, that's two awards right there. So in terms of total defense, we were eighth in the nation and our pass defense was third in the nation. That's a really solid start, we'll take that. Checking out ECU though, even though they went 10 and three, they did not uh, get ranked at any point. They didn't have as good a stats as Oklahoma, 36 on total defense. I guess that's good for the CUSA, dude. Like nothing to really fault there. If we're winning awards though, that tells me one thing, because we didn't win a Heisman or nothing like that. But these defensive ends must be different, bro. We won the Sugar Bowl, no way. So we're probably gonna be even better next year. All right, so checking out these stats. Screw this, screw this, and screw tackles. Test Tube was seventh in the nation with 49 tackles. So that's really good, we were right up there. And with sacks, what? Test Tube Oklahoma was fifth with 10. And then the other Test Tube was 125th. That doesn't make any sense, bro. Like, hold on, we gotta do better than that. We gotta tee up. So defensively, Test Tube had 111 tackles, 49 solo, 62 assisted, 27 TFLs, five and a half sacks. We had two pass deflections and forced a fumble on top of that as well. Unfortunately, no touchdowns or anything like that from a recovery, but that's not a bad start. Now checking out Oklahoma, 91 tackles, 45 solo, 46 assisted. We had 29 TFLs and 10 sacks. I wonder though, is there a way for me to check the entire NCAA and look at the TFL numbers? Okay, perfect. We actually can do that. So this guy, Trajan Jeffcoat from Mizzou, led the nation in sacks and led the nation in TFLs he also had 91 tackles. So this random right end from Mizzou is actually outshining our straight 99s. That's not exactly what I was hoping for. Then again, the first season is always a little bit sloppy. So maybe come season two, we have a big breakout year. I reckon at least one of the years will be a breakout year. So just gonna double check here. Wow, ECU has a 92 overall quarterback. That's what's up left end. We have test tube, just wanna make sure that uh, nothing is going on here, no cheeky business. Test Tube, the All-American starting there too. I wonder if, because they play different sides, if we can potentially see them both be on the preseason All-American. Okay, we got Marvin Mims, that's what's up. Test Tube, Oklahoma, making it onto the All-NCAA team. What about second team? No way! That's crazy! What about at least the All-CUSA team? 
Okay, he made it. At least he made it there. All right, I'll cut him some slack. Both of the teams also look a lot better in season two as well. Like, ECU is genuinely better than South Carolina. So, uh, I'm expecting this to be a breakout season once we hit conference play. Let's get it. That's a big time dump. That's what I'm talking about, man. From what I saw, I didn't see an L. So, we went 10 and 2. My eyes just must be trash, I guess. Oklahoma is not even ranked. Oh my goodness. Is this a breakout season or no? We're going to look at the team stats in season three. For now, I genuinely think this is probably a down year. So we're just going to go straight over that. I'm trying to save Oklahoma the embarrassment of being shown their trashy stats. It's funny because as soon as Oklahoma gets to the SEC, they're not going to be ranked anymore anyway. So I guess the game is realistic. And that is how you piss off a bunch of Oklahoma fans. <laughs> so Blake Karam out of Michigan going to win the Heisman. No word of any of our players, nobody from our teams. East Carolina going to win the CUSA. Test Tube wins the Vince Lombardi again. All right, let's start off this year by looking at Oklahoma first. Because what they went seven and six, man. This so ass, bro. How do you go seven and six? Get a look at the cheeky stats here. Rocco was 51st in the nation. Gray was 127. Test tube Oklahoma was third in the nation, bro. 53. He only missed out by one tackle by being tied for first. Test tube Oklahoma gonna be first in the nation. This video is brought to you by HelloFresh. HelloFresh makes eating easy, healthy, even with a busy schedule. Being a sucker for a great burger, one of the meals I ordered was the sweet chili chicken burgers, which being fresh chicken breast gave me the protein I needed for the gym, as well as being absolutely delicious. HelloFresh cuts out the BS meal planning so you can enjoy cooking and getting food on the plate within 30 minutes. Best part is after a busy day, I don't have the stress of wondering what to eat, which I'm sure all of you can relate to. Besides the amazing variety, it's very flexible. I can add or subtract meals if I know I'll be out for the night. With diet being super crucial, I throw in extra proteins and they can accommodate you or your entire family with larger box sizes for more servings and more or saving. I really enjoy cooking, but these days I struggle to find the time. But now with HelloFresh, my love of cooking has come back full force. Head to HelloFresh.com and use code CROW16 for 16 free meals across 7 boxes and 3 free gifts. Again, that's code CROW16 in all caps for 16 free meals across 7 boxes and 3 free gifts. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. So we had 53 more tackles, 10 more TFLs, 13 more assisted, four and a half more sacks, uh, pass deflections, we had three. Wow, I didn't even peep that. We forced four fumbles in our first year. Uh, we recovered one this year. We recovered all four last year, what the hell? No safeties, it doesn't look like it's gonna tell us if we did score or not. So as of right now, we have 24 and a half sacks. If we could get over 50 or 100 combined between the two players, I should say, that would make me happy. Test Tube ECU going to be tied for first in terms of tackles. Six and a half sacks. So he's not really pulling his weight right now. 23 TFLs. I mean, we have 12 on this end, so we're definitely not cracking 100, that's for sure. Uh, we got two more pass deflections. We recovered a ball. Nothing about a safety or nothing like that, though. So, so right now, Test Tube Oklahoma front and center is uh, just dominating. Take that as you will. We have a brand new offensive and defensive coordinator. That sucks. That's like the major flaw in this game is you couldn't re-sign your personnel or work out a... I don't know. Just didn't sit right with me ever. Whereas Oklahoma still just flourishing defensively and offensively. All right, season three. Is everybody where they need to be? Shall we? Criswell's up to an 88. You love to see it. We have Test Tube on the right end, and we have Test Tube on the left end. Let's check out the preseason All-Americans as well. I highly doubt that Test Tube ECU is going to be an All-NCAA defensive end, but you never know. Just Test Tube Oklahoma. Okay, what about the second team? Not going to be there. Wow. At least All-CUSA? Like, surely, right? Just off his overall, he should be there. Okay, he is. I was going to say... That's crazy, but I want Test Tube ECU to make it at least to the preseason All-Americans. All NCAA first team at least once. All right, so Oklahoma going to finish rank 18 on a 10-2 record. They obviously... Woo! 
Forget that. Hold on a second. The Pirates 12 and 0 though against 9 and 3 Rice. Hold on a second. Blowout in the championship. They went crazy in season three. Season three is funnily enough where uh, you start to see a lot of the teams come up and it typically is our down year for our players, but maybe this year can be different. So we're going to see ECU fight for a natty against undefeated Utah. I mean, do I think they beat Utah? Nah, probably not, right? Yeah, <laughs> I was trying to reverse psychology at 27 to 30 though, damn. No records or anything like that. Ah, oh, that sucks, man. So this would have been a down year for Oklahoma. What are the stats looking like? Test tube Oklahoma, 55th in the nation. Definitely kind of fell off. 34th in terms of sacks. So we have not seen more than 14 and a half sacks in a season, which is crazy in itself because that's essentially a sack a game. So obviously a down year of tackles and quarterback sacks. We had five deflections, we forced a fumble. Nothing really crazy. Test tube kind of falling off, you're not gonna lie. It is crazy to see though, when you make the running backs 99, how impactful that is, or a quarterback 99. Running back especially though, but at defensive end, another position that is notorious for producing insane results, kind of flunks. We had two and a half even though we went to the national championship, they got there with test tube ECU. Two and a half sacks, bro. Just not acceptable. Tackling numbers were down. We had seven pass deflections. So I guess maybe they played him a bit more in coverage. I don't know. But uh, yeah, hopefully the fourth and final season is going to be a lot better than that. Because I expect better and you and I want better, right? So Redmond's gonna leave, that's our 97 overall DT. What about ECU though? You're trying to go to the league early? He's not. Our tight end is declaring, but uh, for the most part, both D linemen want to stick around for their senior season, which is quite rare. Normally players who are 99 kind of leave this year. I'm going to take that as they want to come back in their senior season and they both want to dominate. Okay, brand new defensive coordinator after going to the netty. I imagine it would be quite a hot spot here in ECU. Our OC is still level 7, unfortunately. Begin to look at the team. They are A+, plus, A+, plus, and A-. minus. So this ECU team is nothing to joke about. They could very easily go back to the Natty this season. All right, fine. I'm, I'm going to buy it. We'll start with ECU. Let's see how this does. So we have South Carolina, <laughs> North Carolina State, UNC, bro, West Virginia. This is like a big 12 schedule right here, man. We're going to get the win against South Carolina. Good. Okay, so ECU going to start out rank five on a 10 and two record. That's crazy that now that we are so prolific, we can drop two games and still be rank five. But I'm assuming that they were way earlier in the season. The thing is with these defensive ends, I don't think the team stats are going to be that interesting or important because we definitely didn't contribute to it whatsoever. We have Alabama. Oklahoma are going to go unranked again, bro. This has got to stop. Checking it out though, pass defense we were first, rush defense we were 24th, and total defense we were third. So maybe we did play a factor, but that's more of a team stat, I would say. We are going to beat Alabama, wow. That's one cool way to end the video. Not before we get a look at the final stats though. Obviously, Oklahoma had the better career. Hopefully it translates, dude. Test Tube just broke the sack record. You love to see it. So let's get a look at the stats for the last time here. We led the nation in passing yards. Test Tube ECU was 108th in tackles. What about sacks, though? Neither of our players made it to the top five, which means that unfortunately we did not have 10 sacks from either of them. So defensively, 65 tackles. This guy showed us up big time. Overall, very accomplished though. We finished with 172 tackles, 110 TFLs, 188 assisted uh, tackles, eight and a half sacks, which means we had 40 in total, which is not bad. In a Madden season, you can get around 50 and one, but you know, 40 in four years is not bad. Uh, 16 pass deflections five fumbles again a little bit of an off year that second one was definitely the best for both of us we had 22 sacks with test tube ecu 94 tfls 228 assisted 14 pass deflections maybe dt is the play i never really thought about it but maybe dt is the play i still think the best idea that we can do though is do the experiment where we follow the entire d line in a 4-3 on two separate teams and have one of them emphasize rush D and one of them emphasize pass defense. I think that's by far the best thing that we can do. But for now, fellas, if you made it this far in the video, then you are the real MVP. 
Hope the rest of your day is awesome, and from me personally, I'm out. Sometimes I wonder, can I breathe right underwater? Sometimes I wonder, can I speak in outer space? Sometimes I wonder, can I call upon a thunder? Sometimes I wonder, can I...